For example, you know, Virginia has just passed a bill uh, outlawing uh, counselors and health care providers from helping minors who struggle with these uh, these unwanted uh, uh, afflictions. And this is happening across the Ameri across the United States. We've got a graphic here showing all the jurisdictions where reparative therapy has been banned. Now, just look at this. This represents 20 states at two territories, Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico, as well as 67 counties and municipalities where reparative uh, therapy, this kind of counseling is prohibited. Now, the earliest state to ban the therapy, not surprisingly, was California in 2012. A number of other liberal cities and states followed suit over the next couple of years, New Jersey in 2013, uh, D.C. in uh, 2014, for example. But as, uh, as David said, it was after the Supreme Court decision in June 2015, Obergefell v. Hodges legalizing same-sex same marriage, that really after that there was just an explosion of these kinds of initiatives to, to cut off um, therapy help for for children like this. And of course, these were mainly in Democrat uh, dominated uh, sections of the country, the West, uh, the uh, the Northeast. Utah, surprisingly, has, has banned that. I, I, at least I just I found that interesting. But even even cities and, and regions in the in the Midwest are starting to ban it. Minneapolis, Kansas City, St. Louis. So it, it is spreading. And uh, it, it really it's, it's disgraceful because these bans, they present a huge hurdle to minors who who, you know, do not want to embrace, you know, the gay lifestyle, uh, you know, trans genderism and all that they want to over they want to overcome their uh, their confusion and and embrace what you know their god-given identity basically and they're being prevented to